New Yankees fans yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, look at Mustas. Yankees fans, we have been snapped back by the incredible honk. Yes, Daniel snapped us away over a year ago. Suddenly, we have fans in the stands. And Giancarlo Stanton, once again, is being booed on opening day. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Yes, the Yankees lost today. Um, in my opinion, they didn't really lose. They lost because of that stupid rule that uh, Rob Manford passed. Major League Baseball, where if you're going to extra innings, you put a runner on second base. So yeah, uh, Major League Baseball's goal is to attract uh, fans. <laughs> but when you do stuff like that, fans are not going to want to watch your product. Because it's just ridiculous. It's just a stupid rule that shouldn't have been put in place. But let's talk about this game. Look, Yankees fans right now are losing their <laughs> It's just one game. The Yankees have an incredible team. You could take a whole bunch of positives from this loss. Again, it's only one game. But I saw positives coming from Gary Sanchez. You see, Gary Sanchez back in 2016, 2017, he had great pitch recognition. He kind of lost it in those other seasons. But if you watched him in this game, his pitch recognition where he launched that um, two-run home run, it was kind of a low pitch to the uh, dirt, but not quite to the dirt. That other hit that he got was closer to the dirt. But what I'm trying to say here is, in previous years, Gary Sanchez would swing and miss on those pitches. So yes, yet again, it is one game. For an example, in a situation like Gary Sanchez, where <laughs> fans just don't like the guy, in my opinion, he has shown great resilience especially in a city like New York City, where fans just eat at you, you'll lose your But uh, Gary Sanchez has shown great resilience where he hasn't lost his cool and hasn't spazzed out. So with Gary Sanchez having a great opening day, he could take that and work on it and repeat his success because that's the same Gary Sanchez that we saw, like I said, back in 2016, 2017, with that great pitch recognition where he's going and fetching and actually making contact with those balls low to the plate. Moving along, we also saw a strong showing by Clint Frazier, who I'm happy at last the Yankees are giving him an opportunity to be a starter. In my opinion, should have happened seasons ago. So we all know the pedigree of Clint. The guy is a gamer. The guy likes to play. He has intensity. He has a great attitude. He's going to be a star in left field. And hey, he might even be an all-star. Who knows? Even though Gary Cole gave up two runs, uh, pitched about over five innings, he did strike out eight guys. So, you know, that's your ace. He showed up. The bullpen overall showed up. Uh, even though Nick Nelson gave up that eventual game-winning hit, the run, he struck out three, and, you know, Nick Nelson has been incredible all spring as well. Again, Yankees fans are going insane. Wow, the Yankees didn't win game one uh, opening day. Who cares? These are the New York Yankees. They have one of the best or the best team in Major League Baseball, period. They're going to win series. They might take two out of one. They might sweep series. This is a good team. Take this loss and look at the positives. There's a whole bunch of positives, like I said. If you are a baseball person, you would know what I'm talking about. Let's also look at the negatives. Why the hell is Aaron Hicks batting third? Aaron Hicks, look, Aaron Hicks, in my opinion, is like the third wheel of John Carlo Stanton and Aaron Judge. He's like their cooler boy. He's like their bat boy. This guy lifts weights for what? His whole game is messed up. He's not a power hitter. He goes up to the plate wanting to launch home runs every time. If he was more of a contact hitter, he would be great. Aaron Hicks is one of those players that flies under the radar. And what I mean by that, Yankees fans get on him for a good reason. Then out of nowhere, he has like a game-winning hit and everybody forgets. It's like one of those players that gets in trouble with the fans and then they do something great, and then everybody forgets, then they suck again, then he does it again. That's the kind of player Aaron Hicks has been with the New York Yankees, and in recent years, the guy is a make-believe power hitter. I'm sorry. The guy lifts weights, he's ripped, he has muscles, but he's not a power hitter. If his game was all about contact, 
he would be a much, much greater player. But right now, I don't know, man. Why is he batting third? Makes absolutely no sense. I get it. You want to switch hitter in that lineup. Uh, bats lefty, a lefty bat. But Aaron Hicks, that's the best you got? Man, I don't know, man. I don't know about that guy. He, he's good batting seventh, eighth, <laughs> or even ninth. Man, I don't know. Aaron Hicks is one of my least favorite players. Yeah, I'm going to tell you that. So, Yankees fans, I will be pumping out videos constantly again. Last season, you know, with the whole virus thing, uh, I didn't want to saturate things with uh, making videos during spring training. I wanted to go all out when the uh, season started. I'm working on uh, new template designs. I even made one for uh, Pete Seminetti. Uh, check out his channel out. I'm even going to make one for uh, the new guys on the crew, uh, R.B. Beltron, who's doing a phenomenal job. Francis Lee, again, doing a great job as well. Then we have writers on NY.News. Joe G, Austin E, great guys, great articles. Make sure you check that out. Also, we have a new store, NY.News slash shop. Great original designs. Uh, these shirts are selling out fast. Yankees fans are sending their photos of the shirts, hats, whatever they got over to us, saying how great they look, and I couldn't agree more. High-quality content. What you're always going to get from nynews.com. And look, folks, I'm excited for the future. I'm going to have so many new things on this channel, and I am going to appear more on video. I already got all the equipment. I've been had it, but like I said, I didn't want to saturate everything uh with the uh, spring training games and last season with the uh whole pandemic thing everything was on lockdown whatever people people really didn't care i noticed with the uh numbers on videos that they were getting people really didn't care they were occupied uh viewing other things but now that things are getting back to normal views are going back up subscribers are going back up so stay tuned high quality content on the way and like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about opening day? Leave those comments below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time.